I'm Gavin from Spitfire Engineering Services and today we're going to be talking about our deck screens, our mini screens E21C. So this is an E21C because it's got the conveyor on it but we also do another version which is a 21 without the conveyor on it. This screen is a vibrating deck screen so you load the top of the deck with the material and then this box vibrates and as it vibrates the material falls down through the meshes and we've got two decks in this screen. We've got a top mesh, which is a bigger aperture size than the bottom one. All the fines fall through onto the conveyor underneath. And then we have two sizes coming off of this. So we can have two split shoots on here. So we can send one, one, one lot of material going that way and the other lot of material coming this way. We also do a straight shoot option. So you can have a straight shoot on here. So you just separate two products. The fine material goes off the conveyor at the end and the larger stuff comes off at this end. Okay, so the reason they're called E21s, E is electric, 21 is the deck is two meters long by one meter wide. So these deck screens we've found in topsoil, we've got customers that are doing about 35 tons an hour out of these. So for quite a compact screen, two meters by one meters actually does give you quite a lot of output. The limiting factor on these sometimes is how fast can you actually load it because they get, the material goes so quick that sometimes you can't load it fast enough. Okay, so obviously this is a 21C because it's got the conveyor on it. The other option, the 21 that doesn't have a conveyor. Some people want more output and they want to also discharge using the conveyor so they can discharge it over a wall, into a bunker, into a loading shovel bucket, whatever it is. So some people want the conveyor option. The other option, obviously the standard 21, the fines fall underneath, but once that's full, you then have to empty it or move the screen. So depending on what output you want, what your situation is, depends on whether you go for the 21C with the conveyor or the standard 21. So a lot of people ask us, what's the advantages of a deck screen? Why would you buy a deck screen over a trommel? Deck screens are really simple machines to own and operate. All it is, is a vibrating deck on top of some isolation units just here and then underneath we've got a vibrating motor so this box shakes and all the small particles fall through the meshes and all the oversize comes off the front now we've used these machines to screen a range of different products we've sold these to foundries for removing foundry sand from pig iron we've used these for screening topsoil glass wood chip We've even screened soya beans with these. We've also used it for screening bullets out of sand, believe it or not. So we've used these screens successfully in a range of different applications. You can put a range of different meshes in these from roughly 40 mil down to two mil is a, is, is a common range that we use in these. But we've also put punch plates in these. So if you've got some big abrasive materials, we can also put a punch plate in this. And there's all sorts of different uh, wire configurations that you can have as a woven mesh in these machines. The screens are really easy to change. The screens probably take about 15 minutes for two people to change both meshes and it's really simple. So both screens are powered by a three-phase supply. Unfortunately it's too big to run on single phase so it has to be three-phase. It comes with a five meter extent power lead as standard. Obviously you can extend it with an extension lead a lot of people generally power these either mains power or with a generator. The control panel is really simple. You've got an emergency stop, you've got an isolator, which if you need to, you can put a lockout padlock in it, but most people just unplug it. And then you've got conveyor and screen on and off on here. Really simple to use. These machines are really quiet in operation. You can stand and hold a conversation next to it when it's running, they're really quiet. These machines are really easy to move. You've got two forklift pockets, these ones weigh about 1.3 tonnes. The 21 without the conveyor on is probably about 950 kilos. You move them with the forklift pockets, you can put them on a trailer, on a lorry, whatever you need to do to move them. And they've got four tie down points in each corner. So they're really simple to move. Maintenance wise, on these, you've got two bearings at the bottom of the conveyor that's got a grease nipple on it. You've got two bearings at the top. They've also got a grease nipple on it. And that's it. There's just four grease nipples on these machines. The vibrator motor is, is sealed for life. There's no grease nipples on that. And apart from making sure that the, the, the belt's not damaged as you're using it and, and greasing the, uh, the four grease nipples, that's all there is maintenance wise. So we do a range of options for this. We've got various different options. As we've said before, we've got 
two different types of shoot on the end. You've either got the, the left and right split to give you a three-way split, or you've got the straight shoot so you can separate your product two ways. Other options that we've had on this, and a lot of our options are customer driven. We've had customers come to us and say, I want your screen, but I want it changing in such and such a way. So we now do an in-feed on the top of these, which is a bunker that sits on top. It's got a belt feeder in the bottom, so you would load that, and it constantly loads the, the deck. Deck screens are really good if you can load it a nice even feed. So we've developed an in-feed hopper that sits on top, so you load that, that then fills the deck. We've also done it with extending conveyors. So some people want a different length conveyor, so we've done that as well. We've also done one with an overband magnet just here. So you can have an overband magnet for removing metal. That particular customer was screening ash come out of an incinerator. So he wanted to get rid of all the nails before he spread the ash on his farm. So we've told you all the advantages of a deck screen, but they do have their limitations. If the material is too sticky, too wet, or it's a bit lumpy and wants breaking up, what you probably really need is a trommel screen. And we have also got a range of trommel screens that are suited to all those applications. So we are Spitfire Engineering. We are a family owned engineering business based here in the middle of England. We've been established for nearly 20 years. We carry these machines in stock all year round. So if you need a machine, get in contact with us and come and have a go with one in our yard.